Hey guys, Brock Beal here with Baitworks. Uh, the high school national championship coming up on Lake Hartwell. So Jacob and I are going to go through and pick some of our top baits that we throw at Lake Hartwell. He's going to be going through some more of the finessey stuff, deep stuff, and I like to power fish, so I'm going to be talking about that. So one of my main picks is going to be a Kitex swim bait, as a lot of those fish relate to herring, and as I'm sure you guys have done the research on, the herring are completely random. Uh, if you guys have live scope or uh, you know 2D sonar, that's going to be, to be helping a lot. Um, the main color that I throw is this Ghost Rainbow Kitek at a 3.3, 2.8, um, and you can throw this on a ball head or a underspin. And the weather leading up to this tournament looks like it's going to be very cloudy and rainy. So what I recommend is an underspin because it has that blade that kind of separates it from the other Kitek swimmates that people are going to be throwing. Um, and there's obviously a lot of options you have the casey ashley underspin uh the bass x strike king uh, but the one that i particularly like is the six sense divine because it has this screw lock on it and it really helps it run very very true and straight and not having it go sideways or anything like that um, so this is one of my main picks um, pick number two for this style of fishing is going to be an ice jig or some type of scuba spoon or just a heavy you know ounce uh, metal spoon and you're gonna be wanting to target those fish in these ditches so obviously like I said they relate to herring very heavily um, they're spotted bass there is a large mouth out there doing that so these ditches you'll see run off the main river channel and go into these separate pockets and you can go through there and find these schools of herring and schools of fish sitting on the bottom um, so like I said with live scope in 2D you can target those fish by you know staying back on them or if they're deep you can get right on top of them and drop an ice jig um, in a chrome color any you know white and chartreuse all white um, any of those are really good options um, for that style of fishing so I'm just going to choose this chrome or poly jigging wrap um, and lastly another very very good technique on Hartwell's brush pile fishing and also cane pile fishing. So cane piles are a big deal around there and there's two, um, two ways you can target them. Um, cane piles are normally like 15 foot tall depending on where people put them and how they um, place them up if they cut them down or whatnot. So those fish will either suspend at the very very top and obviously fish be, will be feeding up so you'll be throwing a fluke or this underspin or a tie tech or something like that over just ripping it super fast and you'll see them come up. Or you can do a finesse style and nobody really wants to do it, but it's a drop shot. So a drop shot is a very, very good technique to get some of these inactive fish that aren't sitting at the top of the piles active and being able to get a bite here and there. Um, and one of my favorite picks for that is the KVD Dream Shot. So as you can see, it's a very, very small profile drop shot worm. It's not very long. Um, you know, you could nose hook it, but what I would recommend is getting a small, like a G Finesse style hook and Texas rigging it on a drop shot with a 3 8 or a half ounce weight, depending how heavy or how deep you're fishing. Um, I would definitely recommend going as light as possible because these fish are going to be very pressured by the time uh, you guys get there. Um, but those are my picks for Lake Hartwell uh, for the National Championship. So let's go see what Jacob wants to throw. So Brock touched on more of like the herring fish and stuff like that. And um, one thing that I like to do is instead of chasing all those herring fish and those schooling fish, I'm more of a shallow guy. So I'm, we, you can run up the river and fish in dirtier water. and. One thing that I really like to do is throw a wacky rig, and everybody knows it, but the five inch Yamamoto Cinco is probably one of the best wacky rig baits out there. Um, just green pumpkin color, you're trying to get those um, bluegill eaters and stuff like that. Next, one thing that um, is big on Hartwell and all these herring lakes is these herring like to get up on top and school and the fish chase them around. So you can take a big top water. Chrome is really big up around there. So. Just get out there and find those fish schooling early in the mornings, and it's not a it's not a long lasting bite, but you can catch a big limit real fast. And one of my favorites is this Spro Chrome Fat Papa Walker. Um, chrome bright. Everybody says on herring lakes, if it ain't chrome, you better be at home. So 
right there. So my final pick is kind of back to that shallow water up the river. Um, you're gonna wanna like target docks or just any cover that's on the bank. And one of my favorite baits to flip of all time is the Zoom Brush Hog. Half ounce, three eighths, kind of depending on how deep you are. Um, but that bait has a lot of action, a little bit bigger profile. And it, it really just keys in on getting a little bit bigger bites every now and then. Zoom brush hog, right here. Either the midsize, it kind of depends on what you like to throw. I always go with the big one, but they have that midsize and the baby brush hog. So if you're wanting to get a little, you know, a few more bites, just the uh, zoom baby brush hog. And if you're looking for that big fish or just like throwing a bigger profile bait, I've found that you can get bites behind people throwing the bigger bait, just different profile, different action. Um, but yeah, the zoom brush hog. So those are our picks for Lake Hartwell for the High School National Championship. Um, if any of you guys have any questions on how to fish these baits or how to target some of these fish, go ahead and comment. And uh, I know Jake and I will keep in touch and we'll reply to you guys' comments and, you know, if you guys have any questions. Good luck out there.